science. UMS Science 8, Lecture on the DNA, Evidence of Ancestry Within Our Whale of a Tail Unit. Whale of a Tail's final piece of evidence to trace common ancestry of the modern cetaceans, which are the porpoises, the whales, the dolphins, will be the most modern tool at the paleontologist's hands, DNA. To effectively use the data around the DNA, you must first understand the molecule of life, deoxyribonucleic acid, also known as DNA. DNA is the code that serves for the instruction of all our cells to make proteins. You see on the right side of the slide the central dogma. It shows the process in which all cells use DNA to create new molecules of proteins. Proteins do all the jobs of the cells. They're kind of like the worker bees of the cells. So the message to build it must be accurate. The code of the DNA is built with four nucleotides, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine shown here as letters in the DNA double helix strand. Thymine changes to uracil when the DNA is transcribed into an mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. It's made by reading a segment of the DNA called a gene. The gene has the code every three nucleotides is called a codon and it codes for the ribosome to read the message and build the protein with these little amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein. In order for the cell to be successful and work well, the exact protein that it needs needs to be built. If the code is wrong, read wrong, assembled wrong, the protein tends not to work, not work right, or becomes a problem for the cell to deal with. So it is vital to the cell's nucleus to get the message out correctly. Where do we get our DNA? We get our DNA from our mom and our dad. Our DNA is inherited from our parents. Humans have 23 pairs. Here is the dad's pair of chromosomes. They are large strands of condensed DNA. When the dad gives DNA through a sperm and donates it to the child, the sperm only has one of each of the 23 pairs, thereby only giving the child 23 chromosomes instead of 46, and the mom gives one one of the 23 pairs, thereby giving the other 23 to the child or the offspring. That way, the new baby hippopotamus in this case would have a set that is complete, half from the dad, half from the mom, and there's a lot of variation that happens right here. DNA is the molecule that carries the inherited information and a gene as shown here is just a segment that codes for a protein. So again, the DNA is housed in the nucleus. It has a chromosome which is a bunch of condensed DNA and when the DNA is unwound and read a certain segment of it is called a gene and that gene codes for a protein typically. A virus genetic shown in your TCI textbook right here is a nice image. A virus, on the other hand, is just genetic information. It is not alive. It is made out of nucleic acid, typically DNA or RNA. It sticks to the cells of living things and hijacks or takes over the cell with its genetic code. The DNA then directs the virus to make more protein covering. The gene, the segment of DNA that contains the instructions for building that protein is there and then a new species arrives when the 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 mechanism changes the protein so much that it is a new species with new traits. We're going to use this to find relationships using the DNA. DNA, as we said, is inherited from both parents. And so what we are going to use with our whale of a tail is if the animals share common ancestry, they should have some of the same DNA. They got some from dad, some from mom. So the DNA segment variations determine the different traits that the baby or the embryo has. In today's activity, you're going to be comparing the cetaceans on the top to the other hooved animals. And with that, 
we'll jump into using DNA to establish relationships of past ancestry. You're going to pick an animal. You're going to compare that animal's DNA code to the other mammals. So if you get a cow, notice that the cow horizontally is for the animals down below, but then at one point you have to go to the vertical column to get the other animals. Go to your foldable and summarize on the bottom flap of evidence of change over time how to use DNA as evidence for ancestry of a species.